Hi everyone, in this video I will show you all the new features in Netpeak Spider 3.7 release. It contains integration with Google Drive, structured data detection, more advanced scraping settings and more features in Sitemap Generator tool. As always, I will guide you through the updates of this release. Let's go! The new professional feature to export reports straight to Google Drive is supposed to be a relief pill for those who work with Google Suite. The majority of business processes in Netpeak software based in Google Drive. We fell completely in love with every feature they are allowed. If your processes look different and you never used Google Spreadsheets at work, don't be shy, feel free to share your favorite toolbox in comments below. To export reports straight to the cloud, go to the Settings, Export tab, choose Google Drive option, add your account and allow access for Netpeak Spider. All future reports will be automatically uploaded to the special Netpeak Spider Exports folder in Spreadsheets form, so no more worries about compatibility issues. If you crawl a huge website and want to export a million lines report, you probably would want to say, sorry, but how about Google Spreadsheet limits. Don't worry, we got it. Huge reports will be separated into several files, so you will have no problems working with them. No more need to send SEO reports via email, messengers, USB flash drives, or upload them manually. Netpeak Spider will make it for you while you can focus on driving traffic. By the way, one of the most useful features in Google Spreadsheet is an opportunity to join different reports even if they have been created by your client or your colleague using formulas. So, it's a good time to start learning them, don't forget to use them. Search engines can use data from markup to create more helpful snippets. This in turn may increase click-through rate for more attractive results. Stay-at-home feature Now, Netpeak Spider learned how to detect structured data on pages, its formats, for example, JSON, LD or microdata, and also its types. So, if you want to collect all the information about structured data, just turn on this parameter on the sidebar and crawl the website. Then you will find the new column in the tables in Netpeak Spider, and if you open it, you will find the values for these parameters in the internal table. By the way, we created new report for structured data. Go to the extra large reports, select structured data, and let me show you how it looks like. You will find the URL, the format of microdata, its type, and amount of time, how, ma how many times. Uh, it appeared on the web page. By the way, if you want to validate the microdata on the web page, go to the table, right button click on any cell, then go to the open URL in service option and choose Google Structured Data Testing Tool. It will show you how many issues or warnings it, the web page has. So don't forget to check it. By the way, if you want to get the value of any structured data markup, you can use scraping function. And as well as we improved this function in this release, let me show you what we got for you. Previously, you could use only 15 scraping conditions at once, but in some cases it was not enough to fulfill your tasks. That's why we have implemented scraping settings with 100 available scraping conditions. All active threads will be marked green. So, I wish you a merry scraping and a happy new crawl. In addition to more scraping conditions, we added a new report to ease your daily routine and merging different tables. So, uh, a new report to export it, go to the Exports menu, choose Extra Large Reports and use Scraping Data and All Results in a Single File option. Let me show you how it looks like. First, you will see URLs, then all the information about scraping. By the way, if 
we have found more than one value in your scraping condition, we will enter all of them in one cell and separate them by comma. And after all the scraping stuff, you will find the information from the main table. So no more need to merge different tables using lookup formulas. We've got it for you. Scraping may help you in a variety of extraordinary tasks, automating your manually data collection. So I highly recommend you to get into this feature and learn more about scraping functionality. And it's, it will be a good start to learn from the links that are listed in scraping tab of the settings. So here you'll find the feature description and how to scrape data from the online stores. It will help you to get started with this functionality. Sitemap Generator has been enriched with three new features. Let's go deeper in them. First one is you can divide one big sitemap file into several thousand URLs each. If you want to get more coverage insights in Google Search Console, try uploading these smaller sitemaps instead of a big one. Then we have added feature to create sitemap with non-compliant URLs. It may come in handy when moving from one domain to another and as Google recommends us, you need to create this sitemap with all the URLs to, and submit it to Google so it may understand that you are moving and help you to crawl all the URLs faster and understand what's going on there. Also, starting from now, you can add hreflang instructions to your sitemap file. Don't forget to turn on corresponding parameter in the head tag section to audit your website and fix the issues before you add in these instructions to the sitemap file. But I want to warn you that we will not add issues to your sitemap file, so if any problems have has been found uh, by Netpeak Spider, we will not add these instructions to the sitemap file, so you shouldn't worry about that. In the updated Netpeak Spider 3.7, you will find four big changes. First one is integration with Google Drive to ease your teamwork with SEO report. It's available for all prop plan customers. Second feature is improved sitemap generator tool. You can create, you can separate a big sitemap into small 1000 URLs files to get more insights from Google Search Console coverage section. Also, you can create sitemaps with non-compliant URLs or with hreflangs instructions and it may come in handy if you work with multilingual websites. Third feature is structured data detection. You will never lose track of your item types, JSON LDs, etc. And the last fourth change is improved scraping. First thing is you can use up to 100 scraping conditions. And of course, we have added an almighty report that will help you to filter, segment, or do whatever you want with this scraping data from the websites. Thanks a lot for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this release. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed this video and comments below. Thanks a lot. I wish you guys a lot of traffic and a good day. Bye-bye.